Hey guys, Rasake here. <laughs> Sorry about that. And um, welcome back to Monster Train. This is going to be the last video I'm going to be doing in this little mini recording session. Um, it's already 2 a.m. I should have been in bed four hours ago easily. But here we are, you know, another night. I've been really deep in my mental space here lately. So, oh, what do we have going on here? Um, there is literally zero synergy in what we have right now. It looks like we got another torch as our starting item. <laughs> is it time? I mean, this is, this is good. It's not time yet. I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I just took both wrong options. I should have went tanky train stewards with uh, front line with with this guy in the back line. I, I know what you're thinking. I, I done I didn't goofed it. But I got an idea and it might just be crazy enough to work. So we'll take three six nine, damn thing fine. We'll take uh, a 10, 11, 12, 13 fire damage for what, like 75 gold or something? That's okay. We'll, we'll eat that. This will kill. This will kill and this will give buff. Important. Go ahead and get rid of you. We also might get lucky here and we might not have to eat that damage. Well, we want to eat damage this is good go ahead and kill you for the money because we work hard for the money we'll go ahead and kill you so that you die we get buffs and we'll kill all of you so we don't take that little bit of extra damage because she works hard for the money kill you put you there to kill you put you here do this So I don't really know what's going on here. I mean, we win, but you know, we won with one health. So we're we're out here living that life. Definitely armor. I think we have enough Titan's teeth. Let's go ahead and get some some spell weakness. Oh, I don't know, man. It's it's getting it's getting difficult for me to be interested in um in spell weakness when we have such a weird thing going on. We have so many spells right now. I think I'm going to go stygian unit and I'm going to look for an incant unit. Well, I mean, he is tanky. It's not incant though. I think you definitely want that. Do you want him endless is the question. Because here's the problem. If he dies a single time, our other unit will also die. This is why I don't think endless is the play. So let's see what else we can get. We can make him big. Big boy. You know what? Let's do it. Let's live our life. Let's live our best life. Get out of here. <laughs> Armor 10. Armor 10 could be bad, actually, especially with haste. You know what? We'll try it, though. We'll, we'll give it a go. We just need our guy to get powerful is the only important thing here. Him going out's fine. That's also fine. There we go. Let's say they'll die to that. You get powered up. That's always good. Go ahead and get rid of you. Honestly, I wish we could. It won't kill anyone. Okay, 
okay. He got more powerful. That's all that really matters. Okay, here we are. Let's sweep. He's killing himself anyway, though. So hilariously, he's played himself. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Give in to your anger. <laughs> uh, we'll skip this for now. That's a good spell. Mm. Mean. We just stick him on the second floor and he just gets more and more powerful. I do think we want to go power up our spells, actually. A unit would be so good. You know? Ah, oh, man. That's a hard one, though. That's a real, real hard one. I kind of feel like we go units. But our spells are so important. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. Apply Daze to units when they enter the area below the pyre. 50% chance to apply Daze when they manage to train. We don't want this for the simple fact that they won't attack our guy who makes them have frostbite, so... Apply Daze to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. I mean, I guess it's okay. We'll see what we get in the random grab bag of things that we can have here. Dante. You know what? Come on along, bud. We'll take some candles. I regret every decision that I've ever made with him, but... Come on, bud. I like Dante. Who knows if we're going to need that unit later. <laughs> Okay, we have enemy units deal one damage to the front unit on death. It's not double explosion or spell shield, so I think we'll be okay, actually. Because we should have enough single target to just kill the things that, as they come up. Okay, this is good. It kind of sucks, but I want to go ahead and get this up and running. Oh, I'm dumb. I didn't think about that. I mean, it's still okay, but it does suck. Okay, yeah, guys get more powerful. Honestly, I think we take three pyre damage and we do it like this. The pyre damage definitely sucks. But like, look how look look how good that is. It's insane value. And like, again, like, why not just do that? Definitely want this to happen. We can't stop what's happening on this floor. And everyone's gonna die here anyway. Let's get him weaker for later. Definitely want this. Wait a second. We definitely want that, actually. For sure. I'm pretty tempted to do this. I think we do it this way, yeah. Take a little bit of fire damage, and then we just hit him really, really hard. Yeah, and we're just living our best life out here. some discard the problem is our bottom floor is full and it won't be unfull for a really long time um we could have a 50 50 in front of the guy who gets infinitely more powerful but will he get powerful fast enough for it to matter it's very debatable and then we'll need we'll need multiple things too we'll need plus energy and we'll need plus capacity to make that happen, which I don't think is very feasible. 
I think we just skip for now. I think you go capacity and then maybe you go double capacity later to fit one more unit in your rotations on your floors. So we could copy, you know, we could copy our big guy. That could be pretty cute. He is pretty dang useful. We could also remove some train stewards, buff some units. I'm actually like... Sorry about your luck. You know how it is. It'd be like that. Um, so you have Frostbite 3 to the attacked unit. Or Encant with 1-1. One, one. I just don't really see her getting that much value. I don't even see this really being useful either. I, I don't know where we're going with this. This is an obvious one though. This makes him way better. And this also makes him way better. Now he'll survive longer, he'll buff himself harder. Giving him more health is a good idea. Let's see what we get. 95. Do we have a way to get money? We do not. So we can go with the uh, the 25 times 2 instead of the 50 and 1. I honestly think I'm going to do this because it gives him 10 armor. Which you're probably thinking, hey, that seems kind of dumb. But I think sweep is going to destroy us. And we don't have a way to heal and our armor options are very, very limited right now. Okay. I, uh, I, I don't know. Plus, there's a chance he'll be able to, ooh, non-boss units get multi-strike. This is a horrible idea. I think we need to set up on the second floor. This unit isn't tanky enough to be here. It's okay. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of you. You're gonna die. You aren't dealing any damage either. You're giving multi strike. So let's let's do some thought process. This takes it to 11 damage. This takes it to 10. So strangely enough, but he's they're 100% going up to the next floor anyway. Yeah, they're going to the next floor. It's not worth it. Oh wait, we may have. I just may have been dumb. We could have. Done the other thing and killed both of them now that I think about it. Okay. Well, we obviously can't have this happen. So I'm pretty sure this is what we do here. So make him take 10 damage, he'll kill. Yeah. That is the worst tragedy to happen in a long time. That guy showing up at that moment hurts my heart on so many levels, it's not even funny. again. I hate it. That's an obvious one. That guarantees us not losing. Okay. 
That bottom floor wasn't that terrible. The he's not. That's actually pretty good too. That helps our our guy not die so hard. We aren't stacking rage. We aren't stacking armor yet. No. We don't have enough ways to discard to get more offering. Oh, my boy Dante. What's up? No, come on in, friend. That oh my god, that makes our spell so much better too. That's nice. That's really, really good. We're gonna need more energy though. I how are we gonna do that though? I wanna go over here to get rid of two more spell two more stewards though. Yeah. Also this is really, really hot, not gonna lie. So we go there, we grab that. Oh my god, they're dealing so much already. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and upgrade some spells. The so remove consume plus one. It's too expensive, unfortunately. It's our only way to get rid of stuff, though, which really sucks. Ah, you said da ba da ba. You know, I'm not proud of it. Mm. I'm gonna go for a 10. Yeah. We could also do this, and this makes this way more playable too. And 66 damage for that is pretty nutty. Not to mention we have a couple ways to... We have two ways to apply spell weakness. Ew. Ah, can we survive that though? Maybe if we get AoE, actually. We might be able to just get AoE and it'll be fine. Or it might also be the people who only deal two damage and then buff each other. Who is it? It's the two damage above each other, so we'll take six, um, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen damage if we can't find a way to deal with it. These guys are stunned, actually. We can get a free kill on them, so they won't even go up there. It's completely free. Um,. Honestly, I think getting this combo out is unfortunately what we're gonna do. Ah, he'll get so much buff though. You know what? Mm. We want this guy out early because he's gonna get a lot of value. They're dealing five, six, seven. I, hmm. That's okay. It, it buffs him, but he gets so much stronger because of that. All of them are dying anyway. We don't want to kill anybody premature. I think dealing this is fine though. Yeah, look how much damage he is, guys. 45 times 2 now. So it sucks, but we do have to do this, I think. Oh, I don't want to though. Oh, it hurts my heart so much. He's not gonna die, he's literally gonna be one life. They don't have sweep. This will save him a little bit of health. He's still gonna get the kill. He won't get the double kill, which does suck, but that's what we want. And we can't make this guy die or anything magical, unfortunately. Can't deal some good damage to him though. Ah, uh, he won't be under the 30 threshold, so I guess it didn't really matter ultimately. Well, there's our boy Dante. He's dealing 12 damage a turn right now, which isn't incredible. We're getting two kills. Much more power. I guess we don't, it's unpurgeable, so it doesn't even matter if we do it that way. I think we just do this, this. Well, <laughs> it happened the way I didn't want it to happen, so whatever. 
Okay. This definitely sucks. That's absolutely awful. I think we'll be okay though. Like it definitely sucks, but Yeah, we're fine. The the stealth unit always causes problems, so that that doesn't really surprise me. We got a bunch of money out of it too. This is really good. We've learned and we've been told that if you can have permafrost silence, you might want it for whatever you might need it for. Um, I th I think spells are a priority to get to get buffed here. They're already really powerful, and making them more powerful seems awesome. Actually, we have Dante. Dante needs love. Yeah, we have uh, we have Dante, and we have Code Ka Kalia, Kalia, and we got a relic. Ugh, but the pyre health, man, the pyre health, bro. But then Dante's a useless unit if I don't give him something. There's a chance we can use that. It's not super high, but... <laughs> funny. Funny, funny, funny. This makes him much more powerful. And then I think we... Do this and then reroll. And hope for a health one. Really? I mean, he's very powerful. But he has no freaking health. Mm, 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 mm. Should have been more patient. Definitely should have been more patient. Um, awoken for healing? Question mark. Hey, thank you. If we could remove the uh, <laughs> the consume one, that'd be even better. But I, you know, I'm not gonna push my luck. I kind of feel like this is kind of we're crumbling a little bit. I'm not gonna lie about that. We're definitely crumbling. This isn't what I wanted. So, Rage and Multi-Strike. Absolutely awful. good just about what we needed definitely want to kill one of these guys rage is they're dealing a lot and you can't afford to be here you'll just die so you have to go back here it's okay though that's a lot of damage he's dealing 100 plus a turn and whoever comes here gets dazed anyway which is pretty pretty wonderful they're dying to his hand, right? I don't think so. How's this gonna work out? Sweet, by the way. It's important to realize. Yeah, how's this gonna work out? So, you're dying to frost. But even if we buff you, it's not gonna change anything, right? Because you'll do 15, you'll be down to, what, 70? And it'll still take two hits to kill, so that doesn't really matter. I'll make you deal more damage. So allows to carve through you both faster. Do ten frosts on the big guy. That is something. Eh. Okay, right now. Oh, 
Yeah, things are okay. I'm not really too concerned, all things considered. He died to sweep. So, you remember <laughs> when I said I wasn't too concerned? <laughs> oh, mama. You know. Mama, I just killed a man, put a gun against his head, I pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, I am really sad. I pray that we win, but I don't see that happening anymore. So, we'll, we'll actually kill you if we give you spell weakness, then we'll hit you once as well. It seems like a good value. You're dead anyway. Bottom floor is just sacked. We don't care about bottom floor at all anymore. Yeah, bottom floor is just a joke. Okay. We win. Definitely a little scary. No one's gonna deny that. You know we didn't even take fire damage actually. <laughs> even though... <laughs> it went absolutely horribly. Nah, I'm good. Um... So... Do we commit to the double to fit more people on one floor? I think we do actually. I think we definitely do. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we don't really have enough for trinkets. We have train stewards to remove? No, we removed all the train stewards. Um, I mean, we, we have some random crap we could remove for sure. What would we duplicate? So let's think bottom floor. We now have enough room for three and two twos, right? So we have one, two, then big guy is three. We can make another big guy, actually. Then we have a frost floor, and then at the top we get free hit multi-strike floor. And he just gets infinitely more powerful. What do we remove, though, to make that value proposition there? And how do we outweigh 20 fire health? I, I mean, I'm going this way either way. 20 pyre health has been outweighed. Um, I think the rage is still good. The titan's teeth don't really feel that useful anymore, but I do like having them because we do run into a lot of situations where we're just like out of things to do. I think removing one of these is completely fine, and I also think that a frozen lance is also going to be completely fine. Now duplication is where it gets tricky because if you're a betting man, you say Dante is a baller, right? He's absolutely out of control balling every single day of the week. But the problem is, do you have the tankage for the balling out of control boy to matter? I don't think you do. I think you pick up another tank. I feel like our bottom floor is going to crumble because we don't have healing for the bottom floor. Maybe we go... Mm. This is this is more difficult than I would have liked to admit. Let's see what we get here. This one's obvious at this point. You just want the armor to keep him from dying immediately to multi-strike to uh, sweep. This is very, very obvious what you want. I'm pretty sure you go the tanky unit. With the tanky unit, you at least have two floors that are relatively safe. I don't think we get any buffs for the enemies here. I think we just say 
Like, life's already hard. Let's not make it impossible for us. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is really, really important. Because this is nearly 100 damage. I think we do it this way. Because the reason that putting him somewhere is important is because this guy still wants to kill people. You're fine here. That gives us that. We definitely want you to die, and I... 15, leaves you with 100. You don't deal 100, you kill... How do you die? You you have to die to these two then. Oh, times five, wait, why times five? It was times four, was it not? One, two, three, four. Um... Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, it works out either way. It doesn't really matter how it ends up happening. We definitely don't want to kill him with that. We want this to play out how it's going to. All right, he's already up to 110 damage. Now, what do we want on the second floor? I think we'll do it this way. Sucks that you won't die. I think I'll take three pyre damage to go ahead and get this guy out. Just in case, like, worse comes to worse. So we can't use that at some other time. I think you have to do that to just get that out there. He's unfortunately gonna die to this guy, which does kind of suck. Go ahead and play that. You definitely want regen. You definitely need to die. And that's just the end of that turn. This guy's up to 170 times two. He's living his best life right now. You obviously start here. We'll play that, because there's no point in not playing that. No, it doesn't matter, because you've won. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. That worked out like almost perfectly. Hmm. Mm. One armor isn't going to save the universe or anything. So I want spells pyre health. But if we go over here, what do we do? All our units are buffed. This is dead. I think good here is hellvent and money obviously. I think this is the obvious one. Come over here. You have anything that you want to remove? I really don't think you do at this point. If it's anything is the vents. Or maybe we didn't use a single Titan's Tooth that time. I'm going to go a little crazy. Say that well, before we do this, before we even. Probably get some more damage. When you summon a second unit, gain HP. 25% chance to deal damage. I don't think we want any of that. Let's see what we have here. Upgrade and remove consume. That gives us regen. Come on, let's do it this way. Before we do this though, let's go over here. Okay, I I think I know what we do. We do this, come over here, we remove the plus one from that, so that's still very playable. Then instead of going for more spells, we re-roll. You play your third card of a turn, draw two. Then of the turn, frozen cards are reduced to zero, or units cost nothing. This will be useful early game. It's not really useful past that. 
Uh, I'm not feeling very confident. Remove half of buffs and debuffs. We don't have that many buffs, I don't think. Matter of fact, I don't think we have any, really. Like, we can put a tiny bit of rage on field, but that's not even the main point of anything. Okay, so this isn't going to be a floor yet. Um, which means that we have to swap things up. Fuck, how do we do this? Okay. It's a nightmare scenario right now. We're okay. Yeah, we're okay. I'm getting the life doesn't even matter. Now we need to draw our good units. Okay, there we go. Good times, good times. Do we want to even tank your unit in front of him? Because this guy will get stronger and stronger over time. We could also... I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, that's just the man that I wanted to see. Alright, our guys are getting stronger. What's going on in this top area though? Let's take a look. Nothing good. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. I think we take the, the hit here. And we say that we have we have the rest figured out. Like that that's the guy who got away. Now we're talking about normal people who should not get away anymore. I really want to do this, because this gets rid of a lot of problems for us. It saves a lot of health. This guy's gonna die soon. We can't even do it down there, it doesn't matter what happens down there. I think we just save health on that guy for now. Okay, we got our boys still getting stronger. 27 health on our bottom unit here. Um, can we save him? 18, 26. How are you dying? 8, 28. Oh, 28. I'm stupid. Math, right? How's it work? Um. We can't save him. We would need to. You're gonna die to the big guy, which is what we want. Because even if we do this, it's not gonna do anything, right? Is that hold over? No, that's consume and remove. I think we just do it that way. Unfortunately, he is still dead. Which means that Dante is soon to follow, of course. Nothing we can do about that. I mean, we, we can prevent it for a little bit. Oh, he's already he's already gone psycho bonkers. Right. You're dead. Should have used the AoE. Okay, we're not dealing nearly enough damage here. Now, how do we win? Uh, we don't. We lose. Man, what a tragedy. 
It was another one hit away game. Ah, you know, you, you wonder where you could have played better a lot of the time. It's another just completely rough one. But we did get Hellhorn 8, which is important. Had two random impudence in your hands, we get Imp in a box. We also have Rage as an additional damage stack. That's really good. We get Stygian number nine. We have draw three car three spells and enhance them with consume and plus twenty and zero cost. Wow. It says draw three spells. Does that mean spells that you own and then enhance and consume? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But man, we were so close to winning again. I'm so sad actually. I I misplayed for sure. My I feel like our bottom floor died too quickly. There was one point where we had a choice between like three pyre damage and putting armor and rage on our bottom unit, and I chose the three pyre damage. Big mistake. Granted, five armor isn't a it isn't a game changer, but five armor could have been enough. Especially if we would have then stacked another five and then maybe even another five. I don't know. You know, we just we we'll never know, but Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, look at our destroyed our destroyed train. We will rise from the ashes and once again head down to hell with the pyre. Um, there is a new update coming out on the 16th of this month, I believe, July 16th. Um, obviously, when it hits, I'm going to be playing the crap out of it. So <laughs> you already know. I'm madly in love with this game and it's getting updates, so it's all good. But uh, yeah, if you guys liked it, hit the like button. Um, really do though. Like, hit that like button. Slap it in the face. Liking is incredibly important. Um, especially here lately. They've changed the algorithm, like I've said previously, to the point where like liking and comments are so much higher than anything else now. Because it used to be purely watch time, but it's not even watch time anymore. Now it's just like and comments. Uh, so I don't know. It is what it is. But um hit the like button, subscribe to the channel obviously if you want more content. And um yeah. I really do appreciate you guys. Check out my Twitch followings for free and um while you're there, maybe check out the Patreon as well. You can pledge as little as one dollar or up to ten. Help support me, helps know there's con there's people who actually want me to create more content and uh all that good stuff, so thank you guys. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone, have a good one.